me making this. You're probably confused on what it is. It's a missile, a model missile. It's about uh, I don't know how long it is, but it's a model of the AIM-9 Sidewinder. Now, this model can actually be thrown out, go out in the backyard, throw these around. Kind of cool. I'm hoping, since there's a tube in here, to make a an air launcher to shoot these up really high. Or maybe get a model rocket engine that'll fit in there or make my own engine. Stick it in there and just shoot them and never see them again because those will just get rid of them. Burn them up. So we're going to get started on how to make one. We'll need a regular 8.5 by 11 sheet of printer, copier, paper, whatever you choose. Not cardstock, it's too thick to be rolling. We're going to fold it in half. And then we're going to take some scissors. I have some safety scissors I had since I was 6. And just cut along down the... Uh, along the middle of your fold. Take one half, put it off to the side. We'll need that to make our nose cone. And the rest will, this piece of paper will be made to make a fuselage. So we're going to take a pen. I use Uni Super. You probably can't see it. It's called Uni Super Ink. It helps prevent document fraud. I like it. It's blue. I mean, you can write it blue. Written in blue. Anyway, we're gonna take it, and roll as tight as you can, and you get to the end, kind of get it all nice and even and lined up. Then take a hot glue gun that you have warmed up, go down to to get it all glued. We're gonna take some tape. Since it's glued, it's not going to come unraveled. I'm going to take a piece of tape. And roll it up. Did I mention my name was Paper Crafter? I don't know. We'll see. So you have it kind of nice and too, but the pen is still inside. Just give it a couple shakes. The tighter you roll it, the harder it's going to try and get out. It's good, so you can put the tape and stuff aside. Check your pen. Kind of mark an okay size square. Right. Give it a good chop chop here and a chop chop there. Have yourself. Is that a square or a rectangle? It's a rectangle. So we're gonna fold down a triangle like that. We're gonna roll it up, kind of make it like that. Then we're gonna take some more hot glue. Be careful, it's hot. Squeeze it shut. Um, just for added support, I'm gonna take some tape and do this thing. So you have yourself a nose cone. You're gonna stick it in. Draw a line. Add just a little bit before the line, so you can still see the line. Right there, it's not focusing, not focusing, not focusing. And um, we're gonna just kind of cut on the line, just make it nice and even and such. What I'm doing is I put the cone in it. If you can blow in the Put the cone in and blow it, and it kind of shooting out. Then you have an okay size. Going to one end, you're gonna 
put some glue onto the outer edge. You're gonna put the steel in. Yeah, like I use the pen to kind of help me stick it through. It's not gonna come out perfect. It's gonna get glue on your cone. That's okay. It's not gonna. It's not gonna affect the aerodynamics of the deal. And you're gonna shake it out. Now you're gonna have a nice little thing. You're gonna reinforce it because when you throw this around and it hits the ground, these things will come out. Like you'll see when you do the fins, how oh, it'll come out. Okay, now that that's done, we're gonna set the, it to the side. Now we're gonna do our fins. I have these cards that I've made, because I've made these before, I have about five of them built, where I've cut out fins, and so I just cut the cards off a template, I'll see if I can post the dimensions on the description below, and we're just going to take a regular old index card to get the heavier paper, we're going to put it in nice and straight. Mark these deals down. Mainly when I use this, I'm using a straighter side. That's the side where the it's gonna contact the fuselage of the rocket, the main body portion. So we're gonna need to cut out all four of them. Probably should have done this ahead of time, just to sake of time. You're probably going, I don't care. Just show me the end product. I'm just gonna look. Too bad for you. Okay, so now here comes the tricky part. We're gonna take it and glue it on the side. Let's try and get it nice and straight. So you have glue, take your fuselage, stick it on, make sure it's nice and straight, even with the bottom, crap, did not go how it's supposed to go, okay, I messed up, no one's perfect. Just heat that off, re-glue it. And put a, after you glued on, go on to the sides to reinforce it. Because when you throw these around, the fins will come off. Especially where if you put it on the tape, which you're going to kind of have to. Once you do that, they're going to come flying off. They're not, disturbed, they're not welded on there. Okay, then we'll take fin number toast. I, I kind of use English. It's Spanish and English for all you people who don't know who it is. Gonna look at it. Try and get it 90 degrees off. For the other one. Now you'll notice it's not gonna stand up straight. Because all the weight is moving this way and the supports are that way. But on then we're gonna take number three, glue it on. We kind of make it even with that one. Glue it on. Take number four. Now tune in for part three. We're putting the top fins on and how to throw paint these bad boys. See you then. Bye. I'm not afraid. Yeah. It's been a ride.